Hey guys and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today is a little bit of an interesting one because I knew the floor plan and that was about it. Um, I actually had a little bit of a different plan for this one uh, in terms of styling I guess you would say. I was thinking more like ooh, colonial I guess or I guess just a little farmhouse as is kind of my thing um, but it ended up being a lot more like cute cottagey. It, it really went very head fit around Bagley which I did end up moving it in the end. Most of the screenshots are still here because it didn't um, I didn't like the move very much, but it does live in Henford on Bagley now, and a couple of the screenshots are from there. But I was really surprised. I was really, really surprised about most of this build, honestly. The living room was pretty much how I imagined it turning out, although I did catch my hands on the high school pack, so there are a couple of high school pack things. Um, but the kitchen was a complete surprise. I knew I wanted to do some sort of, I guess, a galley kitchen, but I wanted it to feel really small and cramped. And as you can see here in this first iteration, it definitely isn't. It gets more small and cramped. I didn't expect it to be yellow, and I will say it's not my most favorite kitchen, but that's kind of the point, is I wanted this whole house to look just a little bit dated. I very much wanted it to look like it needed to be renovated, because that's my favorite way to play, is to have, um, like, kind of a grungy house, or like, not even grungy, but just like, not necessarily the style of the sim, and then have a sim move in, and have some storyline behind why they're moving in, and then be able to fix it up and make it theirs. Even if I move into like, an EA pre-made, or doing like, rags to riches, my favorite part of the game, uh, is making a space that the sim would be happy in, right, whatever their personality is. And so, like, the kitchen is kind of weird and yellow because I wanted, originally, I had hoped, it kind of went through two iterations and it's kind of stuck in the middle, but I think it's okay. Because originally I had wanted to do, like, a 1950s or 60s, like, really pastel kitchen, you know, everything's very matchy, and I was struggling with the style. I couldn't even tell you what about it was wrong, it just wasn't right. And I think, um, because I was trying to use the Dream Home Decorator, uh, cabinets, there's the word, um, I think it sort of got too modern, is where it's sort of wrong, I'm sure there's a way to do it, I'm, I'm certain there's a way to sort of style it very 60s, but I couldn't quite get my head wrapped around it, at least in this particular build, it is something I definitely want to play with, the roof line also kind of killed me, because I was really a little bit hell-bent on getting some sort of attic space, I, it didn't need to be big, and in fact it's unfinished in this build, I intentionally made it look like it's a work in progress, and, uh, but I, I wanted the space to grow into, it's currently a one bedroom, one bath, but with the upstairs, it could very easily be a two bedroom, one bath. It could even if you were okay with a little bit of a smaller bedroom, which would be totally fine by the end of this. Yeah, see how weird it turned out for a while? It gets better, I promise. Trust the process. Um, you could even have two bedroom, two bath. Like, you could have that whole upper area be an admittedly small, but very cozy master suite area. That would be really cool. But right now, it's currently like really gross paneling, and it looks like it hasn't been touched in a while. The uh, sim that lives here is trying to turn it into a game room, but they've kind of put the cart before the horse. They needed like, an office space and stuff. The dining room is really tiny. I did playtest it. I couldn't get a sim stuck. They are sims, so lord knows you'll eventually probably get one stuck. But I couldn't get one stuck, so I figured it's good enough. Uh, bathroom's fairly normal sized. Bedroom's small, but fairly normal sized. Uh, like I said, upstairs pretty much works. It's just a couch. Uh, it's, it's sort of the, like, like I said, it's the game room. It's sort of the, like, hang out and you know, pretend you're not home. <laughs> and then the front area is a little bit more formal living, even though it's not really. The, uh, the downstairs is a lot, um, updated. I tried to make it very, like, old school built-ins. I was still kind of hanging on to that craftsman style a little bit, but I started to give up on it more and more as it naturally just turned into a cottage. I, I honestly sat down to work on this build and gave myself a little bit of time because I, there was a cut between, it's very subtle, it's probably not, but uh, there's a cut between when I was still trying to do like the like colonial or like Cape Cod and the cottage and it was because I was like, I usually build on my lunch breaks and I uh, was building and I was like, this is frustrating me, this is annoying, I have run out of time, whatever, <laughs> I'm not going to get this done. Um, so I went back to work and I was like chewing on it at work, you know, like frustrated. And so I was like, all right, when I get home, I'm going to sit, I'm going to figure out this build, or not when I get home, but like when I get off work. I always refer to it as when I get home because I always try to do something, like go and do something either out on the farm or something too, because I work at the same desk. Anyways, um, I try to have those little mental cues is what I was saying so that I'm not always feeling like I'm at work when I'm at home, you know? Anyways, I digress. I was like, I'm going to sit down and give myself some time today to 
work on this and then the roofs got round and it turned out really cute but I, I think I needed that like hour of just sitting and staring at it because I don't think it would have come out the same way otherwise and I don't usually use the stone and these uh these like sets of wallpapers with the the wood detailing I know there's an official name for it and I've lost it <laughs> it's gone um but I don't usually use them I think they came most of them came with get together because I kind of fit Windenburg so it's kind of an interesting mix there's a lot of um, it's country living right yeah that sounds right I always just call it Henford on Bagley but the packet itself is I believe um, cottage living that's what it's called there's a lot of a good mix of cottage living and uh, Windenburg which is the get together pack I believe um, which means none of the wood tones match but it's cute I think um, I do I believe end up changing out the windows a little bit and it goes black to brown and black to brown and black to brown and then different browns like a million times throughout the entire thing because I couldn't decide what I was trying to do and then I ended up covering the whole thing in moss anyway but I think overall I'm really happy with it looking at it now I almost oh no maybe I don't I was gonna say I almost wish I left the windows white but no I don't I think I really like especially on the inside because I went with darker woods on the inside I went with the same wallpaper on the inside in various colors too because I kind of imagined it being like a Sears Roebuck house where like you ordered everything in the catalog and like if you're gonna order everything set unseen you might you don't want to you you probably don't want to like order a bunch of like potentially contrasting colors and, and contrasts and things like that um i do also want to apologize just as a heads up for the aspect ratio and stuff on this video if it's potentially off and for some of the editing uh we are still in the phase of footage where like midway through my video editing software sort of abandoned where itself it had been abandoned where for a while but um it finally died and when i reached out to the company they were like why are you still using this no um so no i'm an obs user and obs is lovely but very confusing so i'm i'm learning but i've definitely screwed up the video quality and screwed up the aspect ratio and sometimes i don't notice it till i'm halfway through the build and i don't want to lose the footage oh my goodness it's a mess <laughs> it's a whole thing um but i'm really excited about this house i think i'm gonna leave you here because i can hear my voice starting to go i got that good um that good fry going on that drives so many people nuts i really 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 am happy with this one and i'm actually really excited i think to like make a sim and then potentially do a renovation so like have the before house and then the sim and then like the after house but i think it's gonna be a while because i'm really happy with how this turned out to start so i think we're gonna leave it for a little while it should be up in the gallery soon i'm slowly figuring out why my gallery doesn't work all the time and so builds should actually be able to go up there soon ish i'm really bad at it so i probably won't go up the day of the video but we'll get there hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. If you're not, please know that you are very, very loved here. We're glad you're around and we hope your week and your day get better. And I will talk to you all very, very soon.